my beautiful YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, we're all pretty new here because since I've last been on here prior to the last video I posted, I was in bodybuilding, in the fitness world. And while I'm still into moving my body and keeping myself healthy, I have evolved tremendously. So if you're just coming in, just watching, go ahead and pause this video. You can go back to the one I just posted last week and see where the heck I've been and how I got to where I am now. But for the sake of this video, if you've seen the other one, I wanna dive into how do you know if you're living life unaligned? What are some signs that you're ready to evolve? What are some things you can learn about yourself to know if you are living life going through the motions, right? So we'll go back into bodybuilding when I had just competed in six shows and I was going to embark on my third season of bodybuilding. And I knew something was wrong. I knew my body wasn't functioning properly because I hadn't had a period for three years. There was no period for three years, right? And that was sign number one. And I remember that it started to become really, really difficult for me to follow my bodybuilding or competition diet. And so while I was forcefully trying to push and pressure myself into doing another season, doing another show, because I was determined that I wanted to get my pro card in bodybuilding, I was starting to really feel worn out and really unaligned. And so as I pushed and forced and pressured myself to do this, the dieting became harder and harder and harder. The binging became more and more and more. And so through that, I kept shaming myself. I kept getting angry at myself. I kept getting frustrated that I just had lost my willpower. I had just wasn't good at it anymore. But in actuality, it was just a sign that I was really unaligned to the life that I was living. And I'm gonna break this down, but I just wanna give you context when it comes to my story. And so I remember as this was going on and I kept going on these binging and purging cycles and the dieting was becoming harder and I didn't have a period for three years, that I remember being in the gym at the gym that I personal trained at and I was working out on my own at the time. And I stopped in front of the mirror because I was in such massive pain. My joints ached, my body hurt. And I just felt so disconnected to who I was that I just broke down in tears. I felt like I was pushing and forcing myself to do something that wasn't actually what I wanted to do anymore. It wasn't myself in an aligned place. And so I broke down in tears and I felt so stuck and I had no idea where to turn because I'd left my corporate job to pursue a career in fitness but I couldn't even do the fitness part. But I started to beat myself up and get frustrated and get angry that I drew myself into a really massively deep depression. That I started to just go through the motions of training my clients. I remember so vividly that I would be training about eight clients a day in the like f the fifth to the eighth client it would be so hard for me to recall what we talked about, what we did, because I was so mentally checked out. And it's not the clients, I loved them so much. I just felt unaligned to the entire life that I was living, right? So, with that, I realized I had to do something. I couldn't keep forcing myself into this life that I felt like I was going through the motions. I felt like I was feeling really stuck. I felt like it just wasn't my purpose. While maybe I was getting closer, this specifically wasn't my purpose. And so there was one day when I called up my friend and 
I decided to say, screw it. Screw it to the training. Screw it to the counting calories. Screw it to the dieting. And I just asked her if we could go have a day of fun. And so we rented those bird scooters and we went and had the most freeing day where there wasn't a worry in the world. There wasn't these restrictions and these rules that I had placed on myself. I had allowed myself to, to let loose, to take off all these expectations that I had put on myself. And so I share this story with you because the resistance, the, the struggle, the challenge of trying to get myself to live this life was a massive sign that I was living unaligned. And so for you, if you're sitting here watching this and you're like, hmm, am I living unaligned? Some really big signs can be pain in your body, pain in your physical body. So if your emotional and mental and spiritual bodies aren't aligned, it can manifest into physical ailments that we don't have an explanation for. It's stagnant energy. It's st uh, stagnant emotions that haven't been physically moved through the body. And when you've come up against the wall where you're frustrated or angry, upset, or just feeling so unaligned to the life that you're living, but you don't allow yourself to acknowledge that anger and you shove it down and you suppress it and you tell yourself to just get your willpower back, just get your motivation back, force, 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 you're shoving those emotions into your body. And so emotions are just energy in motion. But if you don't move that energy, it becomes stuck and it can show up as physical pain, anxiety, right? So number two would be moving into stuck energy when it comes to your mental space. If you find yourself in this anxiety-ridden cycle every single day, every single week, that's a really massive sign that you're living unaligned because when you're living so free and you're knowing who you are and you're sharing your soul's gifts, you don't get crippled by anxiety, right? And so I'm not going to go into the depths of anxiety here. I'm not saying that you're never going to get anxiety when you're living your purpose. You totally can, but that's just a really big sign of I'm living a little unaligned. And we could do a whole nother one on a whole nother video on anxiety, but that's not, not the sake of this video. So you're disconnected from your emotions. You're having physical pain in your body. Massive signs, right? So number three is you wake up in the morning dreading your day, right? You don't want to go to work. You're waiting for the weekend. You're hoping that... You know, you get sick, right? Wishing there's any possible way you could just not do your day. That's a huge sign that you're living unaligned. And so for me, that looked like when I was in my corporate job, really upset, really just angry all the time, frustrated, agitated when I would start my day because I hated the work that I was doing. It just wasn't aligned to my purpose. And so... Going into the fourth one is you project your emotions or your angers or your, your um, frustrations onto others because you're unhappy, you're unaligned, and you don't know what to do with those emotions or those thoughts or those beliefs that you project them onto others. And so the others around you, maybe your relationships are starting to feel the tension, maybe it's creating a distance between you and your loved ones, you and your friends, you and your intimate partner. And so that is another sign that you're living unaligned. And so from that, things can also trigger you massively. So if someone says something to you, if someone does something, looks at you the wrong way, you get triggered, you feel judged or you judge them, massive signs that there's so much built up that you're not paying attention to. And this is your wake up call, right? And so in order to understand that, you have to look at your environment around you. Look at your internal environment first, then look at your environment around you. 
And if you're not feeling aligned, it's really important to take action, to do something about it. And so that's what really got me on this uh, healing journey was I was feeling so deeply unaligned, so disconnected from myself, so unhappy in my life, but I didn't know where to go and I didn't know where to turn. And so I started to just seek out every healing modality possible. Just give me something, please, to help me find myself. And so through that, I went on this deep exploration and I started to understand why I did the things I did, why I didn't do the things I didn't do, and what lit up my soul. So every day it was this excitement to wake up and learn myself a little bit more. And so a huge sign that you're unaligned is that you don't know who you are. You don't know what lights you up. You don't know what you wake up for every single day. And so some things that you can do that can help you to come into alignment. I mean, there's so many, but I'd first start to say, creating awareness around your beliefs and your thoughts. Where are you feeling stuck? Where are you feeling stagnant? Where are you feeling just disconnected to yourself? And it really starts with your feelings and your thoughts. So I take a thoughts and beliefs and emotions log, set, a time, uh, set an alarm three times a day to ask yourself what you're feeling or what um, is coming up for you. And then through that, I would then go into seeing maybe where those are stemming from. What's the root cause of those? And then really going into, that's a really good understanding, you're creating the awareness, and then what beliefs or limiting beliefs are showing up in that log every single day. So I'm, I'm, I'm never worthy enough to live a big life. I don't even know who I am. Like. I'm not good enough to live in my purpose, X, Y, and Z. And so from those, then you can go and deprogram them through things like uh, meditation or hypnotherapy. Um, and then from there, you really get to step into this space of showing up in a reprogrammed way. And so how I do this is, we create awareness, then we alleviate the pain or the wounds through inner child work, um, shadow work, and then we step into activation. Activation would be shadow work here, hypnotherapy. Um, so we really are activating our highest self, our highest aligned self. And then um, we go into this place of really applying it to the real world. So what does that look like? What are your values? What are your desires? What is your why? What excites you? What have you been put on this earth for? Will bring you back into a space of alignment. And then really, again, just this whole journey is to get to know yourself. Who am I without all of my labels, without all of the pressures, without all of the beliefs that I've adopted or inherited or thought were mine? And how do I show up as my highest self? What does the highest version of you do when they get up in the morning? Do when they go to bed at night? How do they operate energetically throughout the day? What do they wear? How do they talk? What do they like to do? What are their hobbies? What are their passions? So it's taking the time to get to know yourself and through this process, you can start to feel into what alignment feels like. And then it's understanding the difference between the masculine and the feminine energies, the right sides of masculine, left sides of feminine, understanding how to balance between both. And for the sake of this video, we're only gonna go into, under, uh, uh, into this portion. We're not gonna go into the depths of what masculine energy is, what is, what is uh, feminine energy, but we can in, in another video. But it's really being able to balance the masculine and the feminine energy, not from a wounded masculine, not from a wounded feminine, but both from the divine of both and having this dance because the masculine is the, the right and the feminine is the left. You can see how that can create actually a physical alignment, right? 
And then we have our chakras, our energy centers, which is our energetic highway, starting all the way from your root, which is like your safety, your basic needs, grounding into nature, grounding into this experience here called life. Then we go into our sacral, which we'll go into a whole video about chakras as well, but we go into our sacral, which is um, like our womb space. It's where creation happens. It's where abundance flows into. It's where creativity happens. It's where life is made, right? So balancing and make sure all your needs are met there. Then we go into our solar plexus, which is about confidence. Are we operating from a place of high self-worth, low self-worth? Then we go into our heart. Is our heart blocked or is it open, right? We want to always make sure that these energetic highways are fully open and not blocked. Like I said, I will go into a separate YouTube video for um, the chakra system, maybe even for each chakra, who knows. Then you go heart into your throat. Are you not speaking your truth? Are you speaking your truth? What is it, right? Is it blocked? Is it open? Then you go into your third eye, your intuition, your connection to external forces, intuitive guidance, and your crown, which is connected to something greater than you. So you can see how that can also bring you into alignment. Your masculine energy brings you into alignment and going through awareness all the way to self-actualization will bring you also into deep alignment. So if you're feeling any of these, please feel free to um, just give me a thumbs up, go ahead and subscribe so we you can be alerted when I talk about the difference between masculine and feminine energies when we go into the understandings of the chakra system and comment below. What else do you want to hear? What do you want to learn? We're all here for massive expansion, spiritual elevation, lifestyle, growth and development, mindset, mastery, whatever you want, holistic health, hormone health, gut health. Comment below what do you want, like, desire for a video. And I will see you next week, probably for masculine and feminine energy.